Warumbungal National Park is a heritage-listed national park located in the Arana region of New South Wales, Australia. The national park is located approximately 550 kilometres northwest of Sydney and contained within 23,311 hectares. The park attracts approximately 35,000 visitors per annum. The national park is based on the geographical Warumbungal mountain range, sometimes shortened to the Warumbungals, and thus the park name is often heard in the plural. The park lies within the Pilliga Important Bird Area, so identified by BirdLife International because of its importance for a range of woodland bird species, many of which are threatened. Warumbungal National Park was added to the Australian National Heritage List in December 2006. On July 4, 2016, the park was the first within Australia to be certified as a dark sky park by the International Dark Sky Association. The nearest towns to the park are Baradine, Kunibarabran, Kanambal, Hilgandra, Gulargambon, and Turawina. Access via Kunibarabran to the east is by 27 kilometers of sealed road called the John Renshaw Parkway, built in 1966. Via Kanambal to the west, access is by a 57 kilometers long road with some gravel. The park is contained within three local government areas, Warumbungal Shire to the east, Gilgandra Shire to the south and Canamble Shire to the west. Baladri Spire located within the large area of temperate savanna grasslands the park incorporates the most spectacular part of the Warumbungal Mountains, a region of past volcanic activity with unusual lava formations. Some of the most well-known rock formations include Baladri Spire, Bluff Mountain, Mount Exmouth, the Breadknife, Split Rock, Fans Horizon, and Crater Bluff. There are many scenic bushwalks and both rock climbing and abseiling are popular. Though the park preserved habitat for koalas in the past, a massive 2013 fire decimated the koala population, none are thought to have survived. Located immediately adjacent to the national park is the Siding Spring Observatory. The observatory, officially opened in 1965, was constructed on the boundary of the park partly because the park provided a light-free environment. This scientific facility consists of several internationally important telescopes and has considerable socio-economic importance to the local Kunibarabran community. There are four main campsites. All camping in the park is only permitted after obtaining a permit. There is a visitor center for bookings and keys to a number of huts. The park also caters for large school groups. There are free electric barbecues available however firewood is not supplied or to be collected within park grounds. A proposal to reserve the more scenic parts of the Warumbungal Range as the Warumbungal National Monument was first initiated by the National Parks and Primitive Areas Council in 1936. The area was first proclaimed as a reserve in 1953. In 1967 management of the park was signed over to the National Parks and Wildlife Service. The construction of a network of walking tracks done by hand was headed by the park's first ranger, Carl Dow. The park was added to the list of the National Heritage in December 2006, in recognition of the park's importance as an extensive and spectacular geomorphological site with bold volcanic landforms that are unrivaled. Anywhere else in Australia, for its unique values as a transition zone between the arid western and wetter coastal zones, and its significance as an important refugium in inland southeast Australia. Warumbungal National Park After January 2013 fire in January 2013 about 80% of the national park was destroyed in a conflagration. That burned much of the area surrounding the park as well as destroying dozens of homes. The visitor center and museum were wiped out, as well as railings and viewing platforms throughout the park. The park was closed after the fire, but has since reopened, although some parts remain closed. Thanks for watching.